Hello and welcome to this Planet Geo tree plotter tutorial. Let's talk about views within the data table in your tree plotter application. When you click on data, it shows the different tables that store your data. If you click on one, it displays the records in a tabular format. You can view the data from here and even edit it if necessary. As you can see, the table opens with certain fields displayed that have been set up as the default view. But let's say you wanted to see different fields. You have the ability to add and or remove fields within the Views tool. I'll click on the Views button to toggle between seeing the records and accessing the Views tool itself. For ease, you can toggle all the fields on or all the fields off. You can then choose exactly which fields you want to see by checking the box. Let's say I want to see the common name, the condition, and the DBH. I'll check each of those boxes and leave the others unchecked. If I wanted one of those fields to be frozen and always remain on the far left of the table, I can check the box under frozen next to that field. When you finish selecting the desired fields, click apply. Now only those columns will appear in the data table. If you want to change the order of the columns or the sorting, click back on Views to get to the Views tool once more. Here, you can drag the columns around into a particular order and add up to four fields to be sorted in either ascending or descending order. Under Filters, I can click on Filter, which will open a shortcut to the Advanced filter or by tree map filter, which will allow me to choose trees within a specific geographic area. If you need more information on our advanced filter, see our video on this tool. Click apply to see the new filtered and sorted results. You can save a view, so you don't have to set it up each time. This will save the fields you choose, the sort order, and even the filters that you apply. By selecting Save View, you can create a new view, in which case you can give it the name of your choice or overwrite an existing view. Once saved, the view will appear in the drop down box next to My Views at the top of the tool. I'll select this saved view called Large Poor Condition Trees, and that will bring up the view that includes common name, DBH, which in this case are trees with a large diameter, and condition, and in this case they are all poor condition. Exporting to a CSV or shapefile with this view applied will export just those chosen fields and only the records that met the filters set within that view. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at support.treeplotter.com.